What if there was a tool that could deliver groceries, medicine, and household essentials to remote communities, had the capacity to monitor infrastructure that's off the road system, and use modern artificial intelligence to study wildlife? Well, drones are that tool, and the University of Alaska is at the forefront of this rapidly expanding field. Alaska is an aviation state. We all have friends or family members who are pilots. Because so many communities across the state are off the road system, aircraft are vital to get us to and from our homes. Alaska's aviation industry is a major economic driver in the state. It supports 35,000 jobs and contributes $3.8 billion to Alaska's economy. So how do we safely expand the capabilities of this essential industry in Alaska? Drones. Also referred to as unmanned aircraft systems, drones are remotely piloted aircraft that have emerged as a new frontier in aviation. And where better to test this new frontier than in the last frontier? Alaska provides the perfect environment for testing drones, offering a diversity of climates, an experienced pilot community, and an aviation safety culture. Drones can be used in many ways, from delivering medical supplies, mail, household essentials, and groceries to remote communities, to conducting wildlife or fishery surveys, and monitoring infrastructure like the Trans-Alaska Pipeline. The University of Alaska has taken advantage of our unique environment and is working with partners to develop and test drones for use in Alaska and across the rest of the U.S. The University of Alaska Fairbanks contains one of the top drone research programs in the country, the Alaska Center for Unmanned Aircraft Systems Integration, also known as AQUASI. AQUASI leads one of the seven Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, test sites for drones, is a part of the FAA's Center of Excellence for Unmanned Aircraft Systems Research, and heads the Alaska site for the FAA's Beyond program, where we conduct research designed to test new technologies that will allow drones to safely fly beyond the visual line of sight of the pilot in command of the drone. Currently not permitted by FAA safety regulations, the technologies that Quasi is investigating will allow a drone to spot another aircraft near it and either tell its pilot to change course to avoid a collision or automatically move out of the way. When this technology is implemented, it will allow drone operators to fly their aircraft long distances without a fear of a mid-air collision. Once drone operators can fly beyond visual line of sight for long distances, the possibilities for drone operations and functions become endless. One way this program helps serve the state is through a partnership with the Alaska Pipeline Service Company to explore the use of drones for monitoring the Trans-Alaska Pipeline System. Alaska Pipeline Service Company sees the value of drones for monitoring the Trans-Alaska Pipeline. There are drones that are capable of safely flying the entire 800-mile length of TAPS on a regular basis. They collect frequent, consistent data about the health and status of the pipeline. The drones can identify thermosiphons that are not fully functioning, spot shifts in the pipeline due to changing permafrost, determine where the pipeline insulation should be addressed, and send real-time imagery showing the location of wildlife near the pipeline. Another area of growth for the use of drones in Alaska is the delivery of cargo such as mail, groceries, or household items to remote Alaskan communities. Currently, cargo is frequently held at a warehouse until there's enough cargo to justify a flight to a community or is left at the warehouse because there were too many passengers on a flight to allow all the cargo to be loaded. Both of these situations lead to delays in people receiving important deliveries. Increasing the frequency of these deliveries will greatly improve the quality of life for members of these remote communities. We are partnering with aircraft manufacturers, companies modifying existing aircraft to make them remotely piloted, and local air carriers to ensure that Alaska's air cargo providers lead the country in the adoption of this new technology. Merck, the international pharmaceutical giant, sees the value for using drones to deliver medicines and supplies to rural communities in Alaska. Merck is committed to delivering life-saving medications and vaccines to rural communities across Alaska. The ability to deliver these medicines to the communities via drone will prevent patients from having to travel to Anchorage or Fairbanks for treatment or to wait until a river breakup ends so they can travel to a larger community to receive the required medication. Drones also open the door to a wide array of scientific research that benefits Alaskans. At the University of Alaska Southeast, scientists are using drones to study glaciers, monitor the health of whales, and gather information to answer questions important to Alaskan scientists. With support from the Alaska Climate Adaptation Science Center, we're using drones to study annual glacier outburst floods from Mendenhall Glacier in Juneau. 
We use imagery captured by drones to create digital elevation models of the basin where the glacier floods originate. These models allow us to estimate the volume of the impending outburst flood. This information is shared directly with the National Weather Service and the city and borough of Juneau and contributes to flood forecasting and emergency response efforts. To capitalize on the emergence of drone technology, we have developed a class at UAS entitled Using Drones for Environmental Monitoring. This class trains students to plan and conduct drone campaigns with environmental science applications. We also train students to create digital elevation maps from drone imagery using a technique known as structure for motion photogrammetry. This is the same technique I use in my environmental research and it provides students with firsthand experience and training that will make them more competitive to enter the environmental consulting and environmental science research fields. Long distance drone flights can be used to conduct wildlife or marine mammal surveys. A quasi is partnered with Transport Canada to fly their twin engine, 16 foot wingspan Sea Hunter aircraft to spot North Atlantic right whales in the St. Lawrence Seaway in an effort to alert ships about the presence of whales and keep the ships from hitting them. The Sea Hunter is equipped with a 45 megapixel camera that is connected with an artificial intelligence system. The AI is capable of identifying a whale under the surface of the water as the drone flies a predetermined route of 2,000 feet. The wide variety of missions that drones enable will require a diverse workforce. The University of Alaska is preparing to meet the need across the system and develop the state's future workforce by engaging K-12 through students through science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. A new program at the University of Alaska Anchorage is focused on developing training for drone operators. The University of Alaska Anchorage and the University of Alaska Fairbanks jointly offers courses in aerospace engineering and drone design. The University of Alaska Southeast offers courses in using drones and environmental studies. The universities also offer business, communication, aircraft maintenance, and other courses that provide students with the skills to run drone businesses or work in the drone industry. I'm an engineering student at the University of Alaska Fairbanks, where I work with Aquasi as a pilot and an engineer while I work on my degree and look forward to working with Alaska's emerging drone industry after graduation. As the use of drones increase across Alaska, the economic impact of these operations is expected to soar. The University of Alaska's Anchorage's Center for Economic Development and Institute of Societal and Economic Research have been engaged in quantifying the impacts of drones on Alaska's future economy. Investment and high-profile support are evidence of growing interest in this field. In November 2021, UAF's Alaska Center for UAS Integration at the UAF Geophysical Institute was awarded $4.05 million from the Federal Aviation Administration for a three-year research effort supporting development of cross-agency testing standards for UAS integration safety and security technologies. This year, Alaska Governor Mike Dunleavy allocated a portion of his state budget proposal for the University of Alaska toward drone research. Alaska is perfectly positioned to grow a vibrant and extensive drone industry, and the University of Alaska plays a critical role in our state's ability to lead the nation in drone operations.